All right, you finally have a snowman to start working with. Now we can get to the real guts of the rigging software. We need to define our scale, rotate, and translate deformers, which will allow you to move your shapes around. And this is where functions come into play. Remember, functions package a series of operations or procedures we'll use many times. Functions accept inputs, which they perform a set of operations on. Now, to build any deformer, we'll need a function which accepts two inputs. First, they must accept a pair of coordinates, which is a vertex in our shape. And they accept a value, which is the magnitude of transformation you want to apply. For example, the translate x deformer might accept a coordinate, 2, 2. And for the second input, would provide a value of, say, 5. Inside this translate x function, the math we'll do is quite simple. It adds 5 to the x coordinate, which updates it to 7, 2. And that's the process for transforming each vertex in a shape. Of course, our shapes contain many vertices. For example, our hat has 8. And that means this function is run 8 times, once for each vertex. All of the deformer functions transform vertices using equations. And the transformation depends on the types of equations used in your functions. The equations used for scaling, rotate, and translation are all different from each other. We cover these equations in detail in our sets and staging lesson. In the next code review, we'll give you an example of writing a translation function. And then in the exercise, we'll allow you to write free deformer functions on your own. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs>